Hi, I welcome you to my quick tutorial on ratio. Model 1. In some questions, a ratio and a sum will be given and you will be asked to find the original number of quantities. Here is a sample question. Please read it out. The data given in this question are the ratio of coconut to mango tree which is given by 5 is to 6. I denote coconut as C and mango as M. And the other data given in the question is the total number of trees which is given by 121. I denote this as sum S equal to 121. So, when a ratio and a sum or total is given, finding the solution is very simple and here is the solution. First, you add up the ratio that is 5x plus 6x and you substitute it to the sum 121. So, I get the equation 5x plus 6x equal to 121. On solving this equation, I get the value x equal to 11. In the question, I have been asked to find how many coconut trees are there in the garden. So, 5 corresponds to coconut in the given ratio. So, the total number of coconut trees is given by 5x, which is 5 into 11 given by 55. And the total number of mangoes is given by 6 x which is 6 into 11 equal to 66 so when a question is given to you with ratio and total and you are asked to find the total number of quantities what you have to do is add up the ratio and substitute it to the sum and you will get a solution for x and you can find the total number of quantities by substituting or multiplying x to that share given in the ratio. Hey, it's time to say bye-bye to slate and chalk and pen and paper. Yours only your brain to solve this question within 15 seconds. Shall we start? From this question, identify the ratio and the total. And you are asked to find the number of coconut trees in the garden. How could you solve it very faster? It's very simple. Just add up the ratio. Here it is 5 plus 6 equal to 11x. And you substitute 11x equal to 121 in your brain and solve the equation 11x equal to 121. So you get x as 11. So what could be the total number of coconut trees and mangoes in the garden? It's very simple. Substitute x in the ratio so you get 5 into 11 is to 6 into 11 so the answer is 55 coconut trees and 66 mangoes in this question you have been asked to find only the coconut trees so the answer is 55 coconut trees you got everything solved in your brain is that easy model 2 in some questions, a ratio and a difference will be given and you will be asked to find the original number of quantities. Here is a sample question. Please read it out. So, in this question, the ratio of scooter to TV is given by 3 is to 2. I denote it as S is to T and their difference of their price is given by 6000. I denote it as D equal to 6000. So, when a ratio and a difference is given, the solution is very simple. Just subtract the ratio here, 3x minus 2x and substitute it to the given difference. So, the equation is 3x minus 2x equal to 6000. 6000 is the given difference, right? So solving this equation, we get x as 6000. So 
from the ratio 3x to 2, 3 belongs to scooter and 2 belongs to TV. So the price of scooter is 3 into 6000 which is 18000 18, and the price of TV is 2 into 6000 which is 12000. So we got the answer really very simple. This will be a challenging session to you. In this question, the ratio of scooter to TV is given by 3 is to 2. And it has been given scooter costs rupees 6000 more than TV. So what does this mean? Let me read it again. Scooter costs rupees 6000 more than TV. So it is obvious that the price of scooter is more than TV by rupees 6000. That is, the difference in price of scooter and TV is 6000. Okay, so this corresponds to model 2 that we are discussing. So, when uh, more than, more than is given, it is nothing but the difference of the two entities. So, this corresponds to model 2. I can solve it the way I solved it already. So, what is the moral of this question? The moral is more than implies just the difference. So, it corresponds to here is the question. Writing out the question, I find the ratio is 3 is to 2 and their difference is 6000. So, in your brain, just find their difference in the ratio that is 3 minus 2 equal to 1x and substitute this to the difference 6000 so x is 6000 so the original price of scooter and television is given by 3 into 6000 is to 2 into 6000 the answer is 18,000 is to 12,000. In the question, I have been asked only to find the price of television sets. So the answer is 12,000. Very simple, right? Got it? Okay, here is another question. Here, the ratio is given by 2 is to 3 and the difference is 6,000. One important thing I want to say is, here when you find the difference, you will end up like 2 minus 3 equal to minus x. Please, 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 don't do that mistake. When you consider ratio, always subtract from the biggest number. So, it will be like 3 minus 2. And don't do 2 minus 3 because ratios will not be in negatives. Okay, so 3 minus 2 that is, you have to subtract from the bigger number. That Model 3. In some questions, a ratio and one original quantity will be given and you will be asked to find the other original quantity. Shall we start? Here is a sample question and please read it out. So from this question, I take the data, the ratio is given by 5 is to 9, that is P is to Q whereas 5 is to 9 and P share is given by 7000 and I have been asked to find out Q share. So how to do it? The solution is really very simple. Just by seeing at the ratio, I get the value for P as 5. So I write the equation as 5x equal to 7000. So x is given by 1400. Next, how to obtain the Q share? It's again very simple. Looking at the ratio, Q's value is given by 9. So its share is definitely 9x. So the answer is 9 x equal to 9 into 1400. Obviously, Q share is 12,600. Very easy, isn't it? Hey, it's time for you to use while your brain to solve the next question. Are you ready? Here is the question. Reading out the question, I find P is to Q is given by 5 is to 9 and P share is given by 7000. So in my mind, I write the equation 5x equal to 7000 and I end up solving x equal to 1400. So Q share is obviously 1400 into 9 which is given by 12600.
Model 4. In some questions, two ratios will be given and an increment or decrement value will also be given. And you will be asked to find the original quantity. Here is a sample question. Please read it out. So in this question, the ratio of A and B is given by 3 is to 5. And on subtracting 9 from these numbers, we end up in a new ratio 12 is to 3. This new ratio 12 is to 23 is also given in the question. So we have been asked to find the original number A and B. Shall we start to solve this? The solution is really very simple. How we have to do is, we have to write down the equation as 3x minus 9 by 5x minus 9 equal to 12 by 23. How I got this is, the original value of A is 3x and the original value of B is 5x which has been given in the original ratio 3 is to 5 right and from this ratio we are subtracting 9 so 3x minus 9 divided by 5x minus 9 and this subtraction will result in a new ratio which is 12 is to 23 and we equate this as equal to 12 by 23 and that's this equation right now we want to solve this equation in an easy way how to do this this equation can be solved very easily if the same quantity is subtracted from both 3x and 5x here we subtract 9 from both 3x and 5x so solving this is really very simple how you have to solve this is just cross multiply the values here 3x is multiplied with 23 and 12 is multiplied with 5x and both the values are subtracted that is you get 3x into 23 minus 5x into 12 equal to now what you have to do is since we are subtracting same 9 from both 3x and 5x there is a shortcut to write the RHS how you have to do is subtract 23 minus 12 you will be getting 11 right 23 minus 12 and you multiply it with 9 because 9 is the same quantity okay on the LHS so you will get 69 minus 60 X equal to 11 into 9 on solving this you will get X as 11 so the original number ratio is 3 X to 5 so the original number itself is 3 into 11 and 5 into 11 which is given by 33 and 55. So for model 4 problems use pencil to arrive at the equation and then you use only your brain to solve the equation. So always remember if the same quantity is added to the original ratio or if the same quantity is subtracted from the original ratio then you can use the math trick the trick is cross multiply here for instance take the first equation 5x plus 10 divided by 3x plus 10 equal to 7 by 5 in such case cross multiply 5x and 5 minus 7 into 3x and you equate this to the difference of 7 and 5 which is 2 into the same number which is 10 here so you can solve it very easily so once again I will do it in my brain like 5x into 5 I get 25 minus 7 into 3x which is 21 so I get 4x equal to 7 minus 5 is 2 2 into 10 is 20 so 4x equal to 20 so x is 5 I've arrived at 5 very easily so the original numbers could be 5 into 5 which is 25 and 3 into 5 which is 15 that's it very easy right also one more thing I want to say was when you cross multiply and subtract the things if you end up in negative numbers you please ignore the minus because in ratio you won't get any negative values so you can safely ignore the minus okay so it's not like you have done something wrong simply ignore the minus that's it 
Here is another question. Please read it out. So from the given question, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 6. And here the number of boys is increased by 200 and the number of girls is left as it is it is not increased or decreased right so boys count 4x has been increased by 200 right and the new ratio is 5 is to 6 that's it and from this we are asked to find the number of girls in the school so applying model sorry so uh, this can be written in an equation form as 4x plus 200 divided by 6x. With 6x, we are not decrementing or incrementing any quantity, so I leave it as it is and I substitute or equate it to the new ratio which is given by 5 by 6. Now, you can solve this equation by normal means like 4x into 6 plus 200 into 6 equal to 5 into uh, 6x this is normal solution method and I am not using any math trick here because I am not adding the same quantity 200 in both 4x and 6x I am adding 200 only in 4x and not in 6x so I am not using any math trick this is normal way of solving the equation and I end up in getting the value x as 200 so when x is 200, the total number of girls is given by 6x. So the answer is 6 into 200, which is 1200. Here 6x comes from the ratio 6, right? I hope you understood this. Here is another question. Please read it out. A mixture contains milk and water and the ratio 8 is to 3. On adding 3 liters of water, the ratio becomes 2 is to 1. And we are asked to find the quantity of milk in the mixture. So from the given, the ratio of milk to water is 8 is to 3. And we are adding 3 liters of water. This means from the already existing ratio 8 is to 3, I am adding 3 liters of water. So water quantity will get increased right so only for water quantity i am incrementing plus three and milk quantity remains the same so and my new ratio has been given as two is to one is that clear now you shouldn't ask me why it is not eight is to one why it is two is to one it might have got some cancellation okay that's it don't confuse with it the original ratio and the new ratio has been already given in the question and you are adding plus 3 liters only to water and not to milk and so what equation do you end up with the equation is 8x divided by 3x plus 3 equal to the new ratio which is 2 by 1 again the same quantity is not added in both 8x and 3x only 3 has been added only to 3x and not to 8x so I am not going to use any math trick so solving using normal method I get 8x into 1 equal to 3x plus 3 into 2 so 6x plus 6 so solving you get x equal to 3 so when x equal to 3 the original quantity of milk is given by 8 into 3 which is 24 liters so I hope you understood Model 5. In some questions, a ratio and an increment or decrement value will be given and you will be asked to find a new ratio. Here is a sample question. Please read it out. So, from this given question, the ratio of A, B and C is given by 7 is to 8 is to 6. And we have been asked to find a new ratio when rupees 200 is added to the shares of A, B and C. And one more clue has been given in the question. That is, the total amount 
is given in the question as 4200. So I hope you remember when ratio and total are given, we have to use model 1 trick, which is just sum up the ratio and equate it to the total. Here, I sum up the ratio as 7 plus 8 plus 6, which is 21x, and I equate it to 4200. 0, 0. So, I get x as 200. After obtaining x, I can get the original shares of a, b, and c as 7 into x, that is 7 into 200, given by 1400, and b is given by 8 into x that is x value is 200 so 8 into 200 i get 1600 similarly for c it is 6 into 200 that is 1200 and now in question they say they are adding rupees 200 to the original shares of a b and c so on adding plus 200 to the original share i end up with this new share which is 1600 is to 1800 is to 1400 so solving this number i end up with a new ratio 8 is to 9 is to 7 very simple right here is another sample question please read it out So, from this question, the ratio of A, B, C, and D is given by 4 is to 6 is to 11 is to 13. Very good. And one more clue given in the question is the share of C, which is given by rupees 7854. So, I will be using model 3. The share of C has been given. In the ratio, the value of C is 11 so i end up with the equation 11x equal to 7854 obviously x value is given by 714 now looking at the question they have asked us to find the total amount of money of p and d together so i want to find the original amount of b and d for b from the ratio it is given as 6x so b value is given by 6x that is 6 into 714 i get 4284 and the value for d is 13 in the ratio so the share of d is given by 13x so it is 13 into 714 so summing up the share of b and d i get 13,566 and that's my answer. Hope it's really easy. Discuss with you the morals of mathematics. Moral 1. X is 5 times Y. How should I write it? Let me convert this into an equation. X is should be written as equal. 5 times should be written as multiplication and y should be written as it is so x is 5 times y means x equal to 5 into y always remember times means multiplication so x equal to 5 y can also be written as x divided by y equal to 5 divided by 1 or in ratio x is to y is given by 5 is to 1 here is another example x is twice y twice is nothing but 2 times so x equal to 2y or x is to y is given by 2 is to 1. Here is another example. x is thrice y. It means x is 3 times y. So it should be written as x equal to 3y or x is to y equal to 3 is to 1. And the final one is x is half y. It means x equal to 1 by 2y or it can be written as 2x equal to y or x divided by y equal to 1 by 2. So in ratio x is to y is given by 1 is to 2. So while writing ratio it is very simple convert it into a fraction part. For example x by y equal to 5 by 1 and take away the slash symbol and replace it with is 2. That's the fraction. That is the fraction symbol slash must be replaced by is 2. So x slash y equal to 5 slash 1 is converted as x is to y equal to 5 is to 1. Very simple, right? Also, one more thing you have to notice x is 5 times y. So in the ratio, 
the corresponding part of x is the largest one 5 because x is 5 times y means x is the largest number so x is to y will be 5 is to 1 similarly if you take the last one x is half y here y is the largest one so x is to y is given by 1 is to 2 y takes the biggest share 2 while x take the smallest share 1 i hope you understood this little x is 50 kg more than y here more than indicates i have told you already what more than indicates when more than appears it means the difference between the two entities is given by 50 for example here the two enti given entities are x and y so their difference will be 50 so x minus y equal to 50 now i can convert this into equation as x equal to 50 plus y that is x this is replaced by equal to 50 i have written as it is more than i have written plus and y over there now you shouldn't ask me you told me more than means difference and why you use plus there it's very simple when you reverse this equation you get x minus y equal to 50 or x equal to y plus 50 you should understand the meaning now i told you when more than is given the difference of the two entities x and y will be 50 so it can be written in the reverse like x equal to y plus 50 i hope you understand hi i here present some questions to you the first question is x is 5 times taller than y can you write it in equation form Yes, when times is given it is multiplication so x equal to 5 into y and in the ratio it is given by x is to y equal to 5 is to 1. Here is the next question to you. x is 50 centimeter taller than y. Can you write it in equation? Yes, taller than is similar to more than so it is x minus y equal to 50 or x equal to y plus 50. Here is the next question for you. X is 6 times older than Y. Write it in equation. Yes, when times is given, it is multiplication. So, X equal to 6Y or X is to Y is 6 is to 1. And this is the final question to you. X is 3 years older than Y. Write it in equation. Yes, older than is similar to more than. So, x minus y equal to 3. Here is another question for you. Please read it out. So from the given data, a is to b is to c is given by 8 is to 5 is to 8. Now if you observe this question very keenly, if the share of A and B together is 500 more than that of C, okay, so when more than that of comes, obviously it has to do something with the difference, right? And if you observe again, if the share of A and B together, so A and B together means it's sum, right? So please try to follow what I say here a and b together so here a value in the ratio is 8 and b value in the ratio is 5 since it is given a and b together i add them together and i get 13 right now if you observe the question very carefully what they say is a plus b is more than c by 500 so what does it mean when more than comes it's obvious that the difference their difference is 500 so it is nothing but a plus b minus c equal to 500 already i have found a plus b which is 13 and i have the value c separate in the ratio which is 8 so now i write the equation as 13x minus 8x equal to 500 i write minus 8x because here it has been given more than right so 13x minus 8x equal to 500 now i compute x it is given by 100 so now i can easily find out the share of a b and c in the question i have been asked to find out only the share of a it can be found out by substituting the value 100 in a share which is for a it is 8 in the ratio 
so it is a text obviously 800 is the share of a whereas for b it is 5x in the ratio so it is 5 into 100 which is 500 again if you see c for c it is 8x in the ratio so obviously the share of c is 8 into 100 which is 800 but in the question you have been asked only to find a so the answer is 800 for a share Here is the last question to you. Please read it out. So in this question, the ratio of A, B, C are not given directly, but they have been given in the form of fraction. For example, A get half as much as B and C together. What does it mean? B and C together means B plus C, right? So A equal to half which is 1 by 2 into b plus c in other words a divided by b plus c equal to 1 by 2 therefore in ratio i will be writing it as a is to b plus c equal to 1 is to 2 if you didn't understand please rewind the video and listen to it you will understand right now What's the other ratio? The other ratio that has been given is B get 1 by 3 as much as A and C together. So together A and C. So A plus C and they get say B equal to 1 by 3 into A plus C. So obviously A divided by B plus C equal to 1 by 3. So in ratio you will get B is to A plus C is 1 is to 3. Right? Now if we read up the question they say 6000 is being divided among a b and c now you take the first ratio a is to b plus c equal to 1 is to 2 so in the first ratio the three numbers are involved a b c three are involved so obviously there sum is 6000 so using model 1 i add up the ratio which is 1 plus 2x 1x plus 2x which is 3x and I equate it to 6000 right so I get the answer x equal to 2000 now can you say me the share of a from this ratio yes I could say it because here the share of a is 1x therefore share of a will be 1 into 2000 which is 2000 now can you say me the share of b from the same ratio no, you cannot say because B and C are given together and not individually. So I cannot say the individual ratio of B or C from this ratio. Is that clear for you? I could say only B and C together had a share 2x and is given by 2 into 2000 which is 4000. Is that clear? Now you take the second ratio. In the second ratio, you have been given B is to A plus C is 1 is to 3. Again, three numbers A, B, C are involved in this ratio. So, when I add up the sum of the ratio, that is 1 plus, 1x plus 3x, I could equate it to 6000 by model 1, right? So, 4x equal to 6000, obviously x equal to 1500. Now, from this ratio, I can say the share of B, which is 1x therefore share of b is given by 1 into 1500 obviously 1500 can you say me the share of a from this ratio you cannot because a and c are given together and not individually so now from ratio 1 you know the share of a and from ratio 2 you know the share of b now you want to find the share of c which is very simple because you already know the total amount share of a and share of b so share of c is given by total minus share of a minus share of b which is 6000 minus 2000 minus 1500 and the answer is 2500 that is the share of c hope you got it